Okay, so I'm still trying to get over what tried its best to become bronchitis. Um, I started hitting it hard with the antibiotics, and it is on its way out. I can't wait till it's done because I still don't feel like I can go around anybody um, without getting them sick. But I really wanted to do something creative tonight. You know, I've been working all day. So um, first thing I did was I hung up the deck that I put the grip tape on yesterday above the door here. Because I don't plan on using that for a little while yet. Um, so I thought I'd hang it up there. I thought it'd look cool. But what I want to do is I have this poster up here. Right now it is Spider-Man. And I really wanted to put a uh, Gleaming the Cube poster up there. If you guys have ever seen that movie. Um, Christian Slater, awesome movie. But, uh, but I think what I want to do in that space is... I've wanted to frame a couple of my decks from my company um, for a while now, actually since I, since I first received the decks, and I just haven't done that yet. So I think what I'm going to do tonight is build a frame, and instead of spending a lot of money on a frame, what I'm going to do is just build one with some materials that I have here. And, uh, and I'm going to hang my decks tonight in that spot over there. So since I'm at home tonight and I have some materials here I can use, I'm just going to do it on the cheap. And uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a couple of these. Um, these are like uh, half inch by I think four inches. And I figure those will make good sides. They're, like I said, they're four inches deep. So I think that'll be deep enough to allow for the for the concave and the shape of the decks. So we'll measure those out and then cut them. And to keep the weight down, I figured for the back of the frame, I would cut out uh, a rectangle from this big uh, plasma TV box. It's still thick cardboard, um, and it's sturdy enough that it will support the frame. But, um, but again, it won't be so heavy, you know, instead of putting a wood back to it, I think that'll be a lot better. Okay, so I pulled out a couple of decks, got them laying on the cardboard here, and I'm just going to kind of set them up and try to position them exactly how I want them. I don't know how far apart I want them yet. Probably an inch apart is perfect. I don't think I want too much room. In fact, I actually was over at a store today where I saw this rope light, and, uh, I actually, after I build this, I might go back over there tomorrow and pick up a string of that because I could string that around the inside of the frame and it would light up the inside of the frame with the decks. That would be pretty cool. Or hell, I could even put the light behind the decks so the light is coming out from behind. That would be awesome. I think I'll do that. I was sitting here thinking what I should do. I have like some uh, some carpet that's almost like a speaker box carpet that I was thinking of lining the box with. But then I had this idea of covering the back, like the inside of the frame and only in the back, with uh, with grip tape. That might be kind of cool because you'll see the bottom of the decks and then the background will be grip tape. <laughs> Here it is so far, coming along, you can see how it's about four inches deep there, and the grip tape kind of sparkles, so that'll be cool, that's coming along. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with the frame, with the wood there. Um, do I want to cover it with that speaker box carpet? So this is the material I'm using right now, it's like a a brown kind of a speaker box material like I mentioned 
I think that'll just give it a nice finish around the edges there, around the frame. Because I considered painting it gray and then doing kind of like a graffiti paint all over it and just putting a ton of skate stickers on. I think that would look awesome too, but for now I'm going to put the carpet on. And uh, maybe I'll decide to do the sticker thing later on. We'll see. Okay, we got two of these cut for the long sides. So we're going to put those on first and then do the small ends. So before I can finish up the small ends, I have to put these little strips on the corners here, like this, and wrap it around to finish it off right. There's Whenever you start a project like this, it's never simple. There's always little things you have to do like that to finish it off. Okay, and then the other little thing that I'm looking at here is, you see these little grooves in the carpet? How they go in one direction? When I fold the carpet around the bottom here, it's also got to be going in the same direction so that it will be matching with this. Maybe that's a little OCD, but I mean, that's just the way it is. So now I got these little pieces done for the short ends, but I had to cut these little niches in the end to make up for this spot down here. Okay, so the box is pretty much done. Got the carpet around the frame and the grip tape in the back. And uh, now I just need to measure out the decks because I need to put a couple of blocks like in here so that I can attach the decks and they can hang right in there. Okay, so I set the decks in there. Okay, so I grabbed one of each deck. I got an 8.25 so they would both be the same size. Took off the shrink wrap and I laid them in here to see how they're going to look. It's going to be sweet. I can't wait to get this hung up. But I'm going to go ahead and finish it tomorrow because I need to run out and get some hanging wire anyways. So I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. And the next time you see it, it'll be on my wall back here.